Hi my little plums, welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. My name is Plumby and today I am going to be bringing you guys another part of the Sims 4 Honey Brew Legacy. Thank you so much for all the positive and lovely feedback that I got on the first part. I'm really excited to hear that you guys are as enthusiastic about this Let's Play as I am. So I actually just recorded about, I would say, 30 minutes. I was playing and recording for about 30 minutes, but then my computer decided to just shut itself down and start updating without even asking me. So uh, I lost the footage, plus I also lost the gameplay, so I'm kind of starting again with the recording and with playing. So since I lost the recording and I also lost the gameplay at the same time. <laughs> so we are starting off from where we were in the last part. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and kind of get feathered, just kind of a relax, kind of just chill. And if we look here, she doesn't have, she doesn't have work for two days. We kind of have a couple of days, to just kind of relax. I did actually manage to get like three screenshots, <laughs> which I'll quickly put on screen now. I know they need literally nothing. Like nothing really important happened, but it was like really cute. Like I did lots of fun things. I'm just really sad that my computer had to go ahead and update and shut down without even warning me. But those are the screenshots. I hope you like them. We could just cry about it. <laughs> but now Bella's gonna go ahead and cook herself some mac and cheese. So as I said, she has a couple days off before she starts works. So I think what I wanna get Bella to get her to kind of explore more of Willow Creek, kind of, you know, go out more, do more exploring. So I think tomorrow that is exactly what she is going to do. But for now, she's just going to be having a very relaxed evening, you know, watch some TV, have some mac and cheese, just be really adorable and just kind of relax. What are you currently watching, Feather? She's currently watching Polly Sim, Polly Sim, Polly Polly Sim. <laughs> I just can't speak. I hate it. I just can't like read something and then say it out loud. It's an issue. And why did you just put the plate in the washing machine feather? That isn't a dishwasher. It's for clothes. Oh my god. Okay. Anyways, anyways. I think we're probably going to be getting feather into bed in just a second because girl does not know what she is doing <laughs> at all. I'm going to go ahead and actually get her to just have a little bit of a bubble bath, kind of have a very relaxing evening, then get herself into bed. And feather, why are you bathing in your clothes? I think. Okay, there we go. It's better. I, I honestly think that feather has like stopped working. <laughs> Alrighty, but as I said, I'm going to go ahead and get feather into bed now, and I'll be seeing you all when she wakes up tomorrow morning. Alrighty, good morning everyone. It is once again a beautiful autumn's morning in Willow Creek. And Feather has just woken up and oh my god, girl has just woken up and has had a burst of energy. So she must have crawled out of bed, got undressed, headed right out to the backyard and made some azado, azado? I'm so sorry, I can't really pronounce that. And she's also gone ahead and put on some Latin pops. This girl has woken up with so much energy right now. Okay, go ahead and have some food. <laughs> I was expecting her to, you know, wake up, make herself a fruit salad, but no, girl is already dressed. She's already ready for the day, which I kind of love, but there we go. <laughs> She seems to be just kind of chilling in the backyard at 7 a.m. This girl is in a very strange mood today. <laughs> Honestly, I am here for it. I'm here for Feather's strange moods. If we look here at the garden, the chrysanthemums have actually grown. And we also have the basil have also grown. So we're going to go ahead and get to just go ahead and do some harvesting this morning. Just kind of start the day off with some harvesting. And also, you guys, we need to do some raking of the leaves since the leaves are kind of getting a little bit everywhere in our back garden. And I think Feather kind of wants a nice, clean, sorted out back garden. So this morning, she's also going to be uh, raking some leaves while she has some energy in her. <laughs> I completely love uh, the part, this, like the chores of The Sims. Like I love how your Sims can like do laundry and rake the leaves or shovel the snow. I think it just adds so much realism and makes your Sims, or at least for me, it just makes my Sims feel way more in depth and way more like real people that are actually living real lives. And that is why I love the chores aspect of The Sims for it just it makes my sims feel more real like i'm actually like you know playing with an actual person <laughs> she's also doing the front yard as well since it's also pretty crazy
crazy in the front yard too so yeah feather i don't think you'll have much of that energy once you're done with all of this <laughs> and oh my god it has started raining i'm gonna go ahead and get feather just throw away these leaves but it has started just doing some light rain and let's actually take a look at the forecast today oh my god it is gonna be mysterious weather oh my god feather oh my goodness this is gonna be a little bit crazy today i mean it's very light rain no it is pretty light rain you guys it's like sun rain to be honest i think we could definitely probably you know get away with maybe going outside i'm actually gonna go ahead and actually get her to grab an umbrella and you guys it is gonna be camping day tomorrow we are 100 percent celebrating that feather definitely likes camping but let's go ahead and pick an umbrella um this is a hard decision i love the duck one i don't know why but i love it let's go ahead and do the ducky one <laughs> it's so cute okay there we go go ahead and grab yourself an umbrella and then i'm gonna go ahead and get her to actually head out here because i have spotted snapdragons which we can plant in our garden so i'm gonna go ahead and get her to just harvest some of those snapdragons <gasps> oh my god look at her with her umbrella <laughs> how cute okay that's definitely gonna be a screenshot would you guys be interested in at the end of like every single part i put the screenshots we took in that video as like a little montage at the end of each part so if you guys like that idea do let me know and at the end of like every part i'll put like a little montage of all the screenshots that we took i think that could be really cute all right but feather has harvested the snapdragons let's get her back into the garden actually let's go ahead and throw away these leaves <laughs> girl just don't just leave big leaf piles that looks really really messy actually this weather is pretty lovely though because i love how it's like light rain you know and it's like kind of clear skies still like very sun rain which i think looks really pretty so honestly i think we're still gonna be spending some time outside today <laughs> all right let's go ahead and plant the snap dragons mizuki would like to come over and hang out yes of course mizuki you can come over awesome that's amazing okay go ahead and plant the snap dragon i don't think we're going to be heading out to the town today i know i did say that she'd be heading out to the town again to go look around more of willow creek but i think since mizuki's coming over and i think she's really just enjoying being outside you know doing her plants today raking the leaves getting some chores done i think she's probably thinking you know what maybe i'll just have a relaxing day at home today hi mizuki let's go ahead and give mizuki a little bit of a hug or maybe tell a joke i accidentally clicked on funny so we're gonna kind of do an impression anyway <laughs> if you guys remember mizuki is actually feather's brand new friend which i think is really lovely we also gave her a makeover in the last part and i've been meaning to ask you guys if you'd like to upload your sims to be part of this legacy they could be friends for feather they could potentially be a lover for feather you can upload them to the hashtag plumby honey brew sims so plumby honey brew sims on the gallery they can have custom content but make sure to use minimal cc so then it'll, it'll be easier for me to add them in to the game and into the let's play oh my goodness okay you guys so the weather has actually gotten a lot nicer it is pretty windy now though but it is pretty like cool now and oh my god miss yuki is actually cleaning our grill thanks so much miss yuki <laughs> that is really sweet of her but i'm actually gonna go ahead and throw these in the bin oh my god feather looks so happy like i just i can't get over how beautiful this sim is like oh i just i love her like she just looks so cute and just oh i love this sim so much i love her life and i love the sim <laughs> i was actually thinking that i want to get feather to join some clubs so i would imagine that her and mizuki were kind of just discussing clubs oh my god the garden gnomes oh yes 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 she's a hundred percent gonna be joining that okay congratulations feather was accepted into the garden gnomes yay Hey, uh, Moira, welcome to the garden gnomes. I'm happy that you have decided to join our club. Having a club gathering, I would love for you to introduce yourself to the group. Okay, yeah, all right. Maybe her and Mizuki can go together. Maybe her and Mizuki were like, you know, I really want to join a club. And then maybe Mizuki's like, I've been really interested in gardening. And then Feather's like, oh my God, we should totally join a gardening club together. All righty, we have arrived in Windenburg. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and add Mizuki into the club. There we go go and oh my goodness feather wants to go ahead and water the plants immediately and actually we've just completed a part of the milestone freelance botanist yay we completed the first portion of it that is actually awesome we didn't even do that intentionally but we have to achieve level four of the gardening skill and evolve five plants i'll definitely be like doing that and <gasps> 
Feather has just gone ahead and started cloud gazing, you guys. Isn't she just precious? Like, she just was watering the plants, and now she's like, you know what? I'm gonna do some cloud gazing. Girl, honestly, although it's a sunny day, I appreciate you for cloud gazing. That is just ever so adorable. <laughs> Maybe we can go ahead and actually meet the other members of the club by just getting them all to sit down on this bench here. Okay, this is Amoira. Let's go ahead and discuss local fishing spots. I'm pretty sure I made it so Feather likes fishing. I'm gonna discuss feelings about the garden gnomes. Let's go ahead and say hello to Bjorn. I think I'm saying his name correctly if I'm not. And oh my god, look at this! A Lucas Munch! Oh, that's so wholesome. I love that he's part of this club. I think that is just really, really cute. I think Feather's really just enjoying talking to the other club members, meeting some like-minded people who also really enjoy gardening. But I think now it is 5pm. I think she's probably gonna be heading home right now. She's probably like, well, this gathering was really fun. I had so much fun meeting you all and I love this little park. It is really lovely, but I gotta probably head home now. That was a bit you know out of the blue but i think it was really sweet i really did enjoy getting her into this garden gnomes club i'm definitely going to be adding some more of your sims in so if your sim if you make your sim love gardening i will add them into this club so if you make your sim love gardening they'll be added into this club okay <laughs> all righty so we have arrived back at the house and she's feeling pretty peckish so i'm going to go ahead and get her to make herself some garden salad for dinner oh and hi mizuki <laughs> what's mizuki doing here mizuki he must have followed her home. I think that is pretty cute. Maybe they're just like hanging out, like they're, they're spending the whole day together today. You know, they went to the park to go join the club and now they're coming back for dinner. That's pretty wholesome. I like that these guys are like pretty close now. Cooking is delectable. Flip those flapjacks, toss that sauce. A feather is in her element. Does she want to gobble up this opportunity to embrace that she likes cooking? You know, well, I can see her liking cooking. Yeah, okay. Another, <laughs> another hobby for her. Cooking. I think she just likes it so much. She's like, oh my God, I love, I love all of this. This is so fun. Cooking is 100% my new hobby. <laughs> Alrighty, there we go. So Feather is gonna enjoy her nice garden salad now. She's very happy with how today turned out. I'm actually gonna go ahead and get Feather to practice her painting a little bit more. And I think right now with the sun setting, she's such like a good inspiration to paint. She's definitely gonna be doing a little bit of painting just before she gets in to bed to kind of just have the, ch have the cherry on top of today's really nice day. Okay, it's pretty dark now, Feather. I'd want to hurry up if I were you. Oh no, you painted that the other day. Let's go ahead and sell that one because she painted that one the other day. And we all, all can I speak? And we already have it hanging off in the house. But I'm going to go ahead and get Feather to, now she's finished painting, just go ahead and head to bed because she's feeling pretty tired. And do you have work tomorrow, Feather? She does have work tomorrow. And I think she's thinking, you know, I want to get up pretty early tomorrow so I can have a very productive day. Good morning, everybody. So it is once again, another beautiful morning. You bet I'm going to be opening up all all these morning like things with the sun rising because honestly it just looks so pretty and you can kind of look out for the changes in the season which i think is really cute and feather has woken up and she's gotten right into the bath i wouldn't imagine you take a bath in the morning i think more of like a morning shower but if she wants to go ahead and take a morning bath i am all for it and today is actually camping day so i think feather is 100 percent gonna be you know finishing her work off as quick as she can we're gonna work from home today but she's gonna finish up her work as quickly as she can so then she can spend the rest of the day camping and today she is cooking herself some scrambled eggs with bacon which sounds pretty good feather that sounds really delicious all right you can go ahead and eat that and then you can go ahead and get started with your work day which is going to be really really fun all right work day has started just a gift a crop okay that's pretty easy like i feel like the, the gardening career like at first like it's really easy to be honest okay maybe you don't watch tv whilst eating I don't know. I feel like watching TV whilst eating. I don't know. I think it's like a little bit, mm, I don't know, doesn't suit me. I don't think it's suit Feather either. But I'm going to go ahead and get Feather in to her, maybe her dungarees today. Because I feel like, you know, today she's working. She's going to be in the garden a lot. Get in those dungarees. I think they also will suit for camping. So, you guys, the begonias have actually uh, have all bloomed. And also the chrysanthemums. And, ooh, what's this? What is this? That is gross. Ew. <laughs> We're going to have to clean that up in a second. Wow, that's gross. What even is that? I don't know. I'm just gonna ew, ew, just get rid of it, Feather. Anyway, 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 back into the garden. There's more basil today. Let's go ahead and harvest and everything else kind of needs a little bit longer to grow, but go ahead and harvest that basil today. And we actually have to like gift a crop and I just had the most brilliant idea for who we can gift it to. Let's gift it to the neighbors, you guys. What about that? So I'm gonna go ahead and get her to visit this residence here and go 
ahead and gift one of the crops to her neighbors. I don't think we actually had a welcome wagon. Like I really don't think we did. So the neighbors haven't ha gone ahead and said hello. So I think Feather is gonna go ahead and bring one of her new crops. <laughs> Alrighty, we have arrived. And who is this? We have Alicia Parker. Hi, nice to meet you. Let's go ahead and say hello. It's quite like a windy, cool day today. The forecast is just windy today. So we're not gonna have any mysterious weather, which is good. Let's go ahead and say hi. Hi, nice to meet you. You know, I just moved in the other day. I live on the house right opposite you and I actually brought you something that I think you may appreciate. So I'm gonna go ahead and get Feather now to go ahead and gift the crop. And it is actually oh, spook fest tomorrow, which is pretty interesting. <laughs> I just go ahead and gift some of basil i think a basil could be fun to gift but i said it is a spook fest tomorrow which is really exciting oh my god i didn't even get the house ready oh my god i'm so dumb i really wanted to make the house all ready for spook fest and one of the holidays here is there's a chill in the wind and that's usually when i get my sim to decorate but because we started on wednesday i think i didn't do that oh my god oh no but here's the basil oh my god yay does she like it Oh, she likes it. <laughs> that makes me really happy to hear. She's like, I'm so glad you like your gift. Uh, you can use it and cook it. You can cook with it, obviously. <laughs> okay, he seems pretty busy in that chess game. So I'm actually going to go ahead and get Feather to probably head home now. I think she, you know, she just wanted to have like a quick trip to the neighbor's house to gift them some basil. And then she kind of just wanted to, you know, walk back to her house because she has some stuff to do today. Alrighty, we have arrived back at the house. I'm not going to my voice is so high then. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and get her to do a little bit more gardening so she can achieve a level two. Can you not research it yet? Oh, requires gardening level two. Oh no. Maybe I'm actually gonna go ahead and get her to purchase some seeds. So right now she has some herbs growing and some flowers. So I think we're gonna go ahead and get a starter vegetable pack and see what we can do there. Open seed packet. We have some taro roots and some carrots. Okay, fall and spring. We can plant the taro roots because they don't grow now, but we can plant a little carrot. There we go, plant. How cute is that? There you go. Go ahead and plant that little carrot there, Feather. Go ahead and also give it a little bit of a good old water. There we go. We have a new plant that is gonna be growing in our little garden, which I love. And now you guys, I think Feather has completed her day of work. It's been a very lovely morning, but now she is gonna go ahead and head out camping. We need to purchase a tent. <laughs> just hit me that we can't afford to purchase a tent. No, <laughs> that is so sad. I'm so annoyed. But I think since we can't purchase a tent at all, I'm still going to try and make sure that she has a nice day out in one of the, out in the wilderness, but in the park. So technically not the wilderness. Alrighty, so we have arrived here at the park and let's go ahead and head out to the more deserted parts. Oh, it's so beautiful in autumn. I love it. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and actually head out over here because she can do some fishing and we can kind of just like imagine that she can kind of just hang out under over this area. Now, I know that like we're not in the wilderness, obviously, but I'm kind of still thinking that like, I don't know, I, I want to just, I want to let her have a day out, you know, in the park, in the wilderness if she's not sleeping here. <laughs> so I'm actually going to go ahead and get her to do some fishing so she does love fishing and that kind of reminds me of like camping like i know when i think of camping i think of fishing she's so cute let's go ahead and just screenshot this lovely little moment here there we go <gasps> we caught a fish we caught a fish we caught a fish yay what did we catch we caught a perch okay we're definitely going to be mounting that and putting it on our wall to always remember it as our first fish <laughs> okay i'm actually gonna go ahead and get to look for some frogs now i just i see that little frog little log the frog log <laughs> over there and i just have to get feather to go ahead and look for some frogs so there we go feather do you find any frogs do you find any do you have any any frogs oh i think we got a frog <gasps> i think we got a frog that looks like the face of someone we just found frog <laughs> let's see oh my god we got a spotted leaf frog yay we have a new pet <laughs> awesome and actually i'm gonna go ahead and get to grill something i'm gonna go ahead and get to grill some franks and beans that is a hundred percent the kind of thing you'd eat on a little bit of a camping trip <laughs> even if this isn't a camping trip but still there we go feather you go ahead and make yourself some franks and beans <laughs> i promise that the second we can afford a tent we will get one and we will send her out into the wilderness i promise you feather i promise <laughs> mm, the franks and beans is done go ahead and grab yourself a serving of that good franks and beans <laughs> there 
there we go oh look at her she looks so sweet righty then we have finished the franks and beans and oh my god <laughs> girl just did a fart okay 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 you do you you do you let's go ahead and do some digging actually just kind of collect some stuff you know and feather is actually starting to feel pretty tired now she has been working pretty hard today so i think i'm probably gonna actually be getting her to head home in a second because she is feeling pretty sleepy but we just found a, a limestone it should have a fossil inside awesome but as i said i'm gonna go ahead and get feather to head home today unfortunately she couldn't have a fire and she couldn't tell stories unfortunately since it was only herself <laughs> there but she did manage to go ahead and travel to like a, somewhere in nature and she did manage to go ahead and have little barbecues so i think she's feeling pretty happy but also pretty tired so i'm gonna go ahead and get feather to head home now all righty we have arrived home and oh my god play the sims 4 for five hours have i been playing the save file for five hours i'm not sure if i've been playing the save file for five hours but turns out i have but i'm gonna go ahead and get her to not go to bed just yet maybe go to bed now i mean she is super duper tired okay i'm just gonna get her to just go to bed now because girl's tired she's super duper tired it is 5 p.m that you know what you know what, you know what, you know and you know what no 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 let's first watch some tv i don't know it just it seems too early to go to bed i don't know <laughs> but let's go ahead and actually mount the fish and go ahead and plop it on the wall somewhere let's put it above the cooker i feel like it fits there there we go he fits right in awesome oh enable emotional aura okay awesome we're gonna go ahead and do that we also have a lime a fossil rock oh extract fossil oh we got some oh my goodness we got some fossiled what's it and perfectly preserved mustache uh, okay interesting i'm just gonna keep those in her inventory for now but let's go ahead and place our frog somewhere where do you think we could put him all right there we go i know that's kind of you know slightly clipping with the other thing the tv the tv <laughs> You know what I mean? Uh, oh my god, feathers just passed out on the couch. Okay, it's or the sofa. I'm from England. I call it sofa. But I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and get her to head to bed now because uh, she's literally falling asleep on the sofa. And there we go. We have our little frog. Oh, leave name suggestions for him. I know we can't name him, but anyway, you guys, I'll leave name suggestions for him in the comment section down below. He's so cute. He deserves a name. But Feather has now just thrown herself in bed. She's just so tired. I had a lot of fun today. I really enjoyed playing. I really enjoyed camping day, and I also really enjoyed getting her into the garden gnomes club and just everything we did today was really fun let me know in the comment section down below what you thought of today's part as i said if you'd like to add your sims to be part of this lp as a friend as a background sim or as a potential lover you can go ahead and upload them to the hashtag on the gallery plumby honey brew sims and as i said leave your name suggestions for the little frog and let me know what you thought of today's part i also now have channel membership so if you'd like to support me and the channel and get exclusive perks and content you can go ahead and click the join button or read the description box down below for some information you can become a sugar plum sparkly plum or a golden plum and i would really appreciate the support so if you guys did enjoy do not forget to leave a like and subscribe we'd love to have you join the plum family and i'll be seeing you all in the next video Bye bye a quick thank you to all of the channel members thank you ace Kristen, candy crossing the mint plum bob tockety hazelu florida michelle monroe nanny Bay, Viviana Elise, Crystal Stephanie, McKenna, Robin Ivy Louise, Melody, Cookie Monster, Naomi Innie, and Gianna Hicks. I really do appreciate it.